Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today we are going to discuss about GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices. Before we start our discussion, it is important to know first the below mentioned topics. What is GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices? A basic definition, important or benefits of GMP. What are the five main key components of current good manufacturing practices? Why GMP must be followed? Let's start the discussion then. What is GMP, Good Manufacturing Practices? A basic definition. Good Manufacturing Practices or GMP is a system that consists of processes, procedures and documentation that ensures manufacturing products such as food, cosmetics and pharmaceutical goods are consistently produced and controlled according to set quality standards. Implementing GMP can help cut down on losses and waste, avoid recall, seizure, fines and jail time. GMPs examine and cover every aspect of the manufacturing process to guard against any risk that can be catastrophic for products such as cross-contamination, adulteration and mislabeling. Some areas that can influence the safety and quality of products that GMP guideline and regulation addresses the following. Quality management, sanitation and hygiene, building and facilities, equipment, raw materials, personnel, validation and qualification, complaints and last one is documentation and record keeping. Let us now discuss about the importance or benefits of GMP. Consumers put a great deal of trust in the manufacturers who make the products they use daily like medicines, car parts, cosmetics and food. When products have to be recalled, this can cast doubt in the minds of consumers, which is why prevention is so important. Here's what you need to know. Manufacturers need to do everything they can to foster the trust they are given and take the necessary steps to keep it. One way to do that is by implementing good manufacturing practices. Good manufacturing practices are a critical system that all manufacturing facilities should implement. They help ensure the proper design, monitoring and control of the manufacturing processes and facilities. Companies that adhere to these standards help to assure the identity, strength and quality of their products. When implemented, GMP can help cut down on facility losses and waste and also help to protect the company, consumers and the environment of harm. GMP help facilities earn and maintain the trust of consumers who want to know the products they buy are manufactured in safe, well-regulated environments and to government's standards. Let us now discuss what are the five main key components of good manufacturing practices. Pharmaceutical companies are tasked with safely manufacturing medication for billions of people around the world who depend on them to survive. This important task cannot be done haphazardly. Measures must be taken to ensure product safety and high quality products are delivered to consumers. GMP compliance is based upon five key components which are First one is primary materials and products. Second one is premises, third one is people, fourth one is procedures, the fifth and last one is processes. Let us discuss these components in detail. First one is primary materials and products. Primary materials are the raw ingredients used to create a product which is the end result that is sold to consumers if the primary materials are not of the utmost quality. Flaws can occur in the end result. As such, one of the core GMP standards is the requirement of a master formula for all products that is perfectly followed with no deviations throughout the entire manufacturing process. Second one is premises. Laboratories are the backbone of pharmaceutical manufacturing and must be properly maintained. Premises and equipment must be properly maintained to ensure safe and effective conditions for manufacturing medication. Equipment can experience many variations. As an example, take a fume hood, a common piece of equipment in laboratory. Third one is people. People are the backbone of any business and that's no different in pharmaceutical manufacturing. Having trained people operating each facility is required in order to remain CGMP compliant. It will require time and money to train employees on how to abide by GMP quality standards. 
not only is this mandatory but it will help ensure that your people continually create quality products training materials must continually be evaluated to ensure that they are up to date as well fourth one is procedures a manufacturer's procedures will be scrutinized when audited all procedures must be regularly revisited to ensure that they are making use of the latest technology and science involved in pharmaceutical manufacturing if a procedure is using outdated technology the manufacturer may struggle to maintain cgmp compliance fifth one is processes processes involved in gmp refer to the documentation that is used to prove that procedures are being followed auditors will continually inspect laboratories to guarantee that all gmp procedures are being followed and documented maintaining these documents at all times is vital to passing an audit and finally let's discuss why gmp must be followed overlooking the importance of gmp in pharmaceutical manufacturing is a big mistake first and foremost not following gmp can result in serious health risk if the manufactured product is put in the hands of consumers consumers cannot tell on their own if a product is unsafe for them therefore proper gmp guidelines must be followed so consumers can trust the products they use an unsafe product that reaches the market can result in costly lawsuits lost licenses and damaged reputations we have now come to the conclusion of the session for any questions related to today's session please mention them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them till our next session best wishes from tnv academy thank you